Okay, looks like we're settled in now. Um, so wanted to kick us off. It's the last day of August, which where did 2022 go? Um, we're getting into fall territory. And so want to understand uh, where people are, if they're starting to experience fall or looking forward to that. I'll put it in the chat here. I am in Chicago, Illinois, about four blocks away from Wrigley Field. And feel free to share where you are um, so we can all get to know each other virtually kind of across the country here today. Um, so with that, um, let's get us started. Today we're here to do um, Hierology's last installment of our um, quarterly quick hit series. Um, today I'm here to talk to you about how to speed up your hiring process without sacrificing candidate quality. Um, I'm excited for this. I know there's been some great content that so far. My name is Kristen Schantz. I'm our VP of Growth Marketing here at Hierology. Um, and for this series, we've really been focusing each of these quick hits on a different stat from our recent survey of more than 6,000 2022 job applicants. So the goal is really to get in the minds of today's job seeker and then offer advice on what to do to meet their expectations. Wanted to note that today's webinar is the last of the series. I kind of said that opening. Uh, we definitely will be back doing this though. This is not the only time we do this quarterly and we seem to get a lot of great feedback. That this is really helping you um, build your great team, put really good quality people in seat and add back to your bottom line. Um, this time we've covered everything from the importance of employee referrals as your as a channel of applicants to getting the most out of the job boards that you all are using today to how to attract what we call boomerang employees, how to bring back people who thought the grass was greener and it really isn't. And today we're going to focus on all things speed. I promise just because this is not all about speed and timeliness and I'm gonna to talk too fast, um, but please feel free to chat in if I do. I tend to have that um, trend. But with that, let's dig into what we have for you today. The stat that sparked today's presentation is that roughly one third or 31% of those who responded to our study so that, they, the, that the entirety of their most recent job search that means from when they found the job and submitted their application to signing the final offer took less than two weeks. Took less than two weeks. Think about how fast this is. You have to review applications, schedule and conduct interviews, do background checks, et cetera, all within two weeks. For many companies, it takes two weeks to just respond to an applicant. If that sounds like you, you're getting beat and your top applicants are getting hired elsewhere. Said differently, if you've ordered something online recently, you've probably waited longer than two weeks for, be, for it to be delivered, whether it be um, clothing, et cetera. Two weeks, 14 days is how fast people are filling these open, uh, applicants are finding open jobs. And that is a benchmark that we all need to be thinking about. To add even more color to this, we also ask those same applicants if they've ever ghosted an employer meaning they just dropped out of that process without notice. And 43% of who said yes, so they did this because the process was taking too long. So if you're sitting there being like, I keep getting ghosted, Kristen, people aren't showing up to training, they're not showing up to final interviews, et cetera, there might be a reason for that. Almost half of them, it's because it's taking too long. It's a huge, huge problem for many of you. We hear all the time when I'm on the circuit and speaking to people in different ways, Kristen, how do I stop ghosting? How do I prevent people from not showing up? How do I not waste my hiring team's time? If you could speed up the process, you could potentially reduce your gain by 43%. So do you want one, you know, to get basically make sure that one out of two people don't ghost you anymore? That would be something to look at. And if it's all just about speed, that's where we're going to dig in today. What these two stats are telling us though, is that speed is really what matters in hiring. Um, I think a lot of us here, let's talk about, um, you know, how much we're gonna spend on job boards or we need to go um, pay more for a salary. Speed is where you're really gonna find your competitive advantage. Almost every employer across all industries is struggling to fill open roles. There's two jobs for every one able-bodied worker. And if you're in the skilled labor trade, which a lot of you are, this is even worse. And it's going to be continued talent shortages. There are not enough people entering the workforce. We don't have that generation that's coming into it just yet. We have some entry-level labor pool shortages that are causing this. So anything that you can do to shave even a day or two off your hiring process 
will make a huge difference at a time when hiring is harder than it's ever been. So of course, you know, making rush your desperate hiring decisions just to fill your open roles quickly isn't the answer either, which is why I want to make sure that the advice I offer today touches on how to move fast while also ensuring you're making great hires and truly bringing on folks who are going to add to your business, not take away from it. I've heard, often heard this, hire slow, fire fast. How can we hire a little bit faster while not sacrificing quality is what we're going to talk about. Um, we don't want you to cut corners or putting bad hires in. That can almost be more costly by not putting them through the right systems and making sure that they're right culture fit and skill fit. Um, and it's detrimental and it can do things to your business. One study estimated that a poor fit hire costs organizations up to $15,000. On top of that, bad hires lead to lower productivity and frustration amongst your existing team. We all can probably think of someone in our past that said, hey, I missed the mark on that hire, and this is what it did to team culture, team morale, um, our ability to hit a number, our ability to provide a certain level of care, a certain level of service, et cetera. So in short, while speed matters, so does candidate quality. And we're going to make sure today that we are able to do both of those things at the same time. Mm -hmm. So that brings us to the meat of the webinar. How can you speed up this process without sacrificing quality? How can I make sure I get a butt in seat, as I like to say, excuse the craftsness, but do it in a way where that seat is filled with that top, top talent in market? I'm going to dig into four major areas of focus to do this and specifically into how each of these helps improve speed and quality at the same time. The first area of focus here is employee referrals. We talked a little bit about this in another quick kit. Referrals can help with speed because these candidates are essentially already vetted by your top employees. So you save the time you'd spend coming through resume and debating internally whether or not to bring that person onto the next step. In fact, we took a look at all of our customers using our referral technology and found that referral candidates are actually on average higher three days faster than a non-referral candidate. And then when it comes to quality, referral candidates are typically much more aligned with your company, the role, and its values. Again, this that's because your existing employees have already vetted someone, vetted these people, and typically they refer peers who are similar to them in terms of work ethic and values. So with referrals, you move, you're moving forward with someone who is more qualified right off the boat. Additionally, since these folks have heard about your open role through a trusted peer, they're also typically more right off the bat too. So really referrals are a win-win in terms of both speed and quality. To name it, I am a uh, referral at Hireology and they actually have seen that hire, that referrals can stay longer too. So if you're looking for longevity of a quality hire while also speeding up the hiring process, you really, really need to unlock this referral piece. If you are a referral at your company, and some for some of us, it's hard to go back um, to those old days of, you know, the recruiting process, let us know or raise your hand so that we can know if you were a referral into where you work today um, from that standpoint. Sorry, tech, there we go. Now, of course, getting to the most out of these programs as we're talking about requires some effort on your end. You have to do work to get the word out about your program using things like physical signage with QR codes for easy submission or even investing in tools like Hireology that allow you to send internal texts and email campaigns to your existing employees to spread the word. Additionally, employee referral programs have to be really easy for folks to participate in. Otherwise, they're just not going to go out of their way. So again, that's where tools like ours can really help. You'll see on the bottom left-hand corner over here, using our Texty campaign feature, you can actually text your employees and empower them to submit referrals directly from their phones. No longer is it required, um, no logins required, excuse me, no need to fill out forms or even gather the referral candidate's resume. Really removing all barriers to participation, making it as easy as possible. If you can text your top employees and get them to say, hey, I have someone who is gonna go above and beyond I know is going to deliver a high level of service and I'm willing to put my name to them as a candidate to come work with me, that speed and enabling that is all that much more important. The next area of focus that when it comes to balancing speed and quality is candidate texting. In terms of speed, texting has allowed hireology customers to shave eight days off the hiring process. So if two weeks sounded crazy to you because it's taken three to four weeks or even a month to fill an open role, look at texting, eight days, more than a week. 
shaved off the hiring process. At a time when people are getting hired in two weeks, the ability to cut that is huge. Texting speeds up the process because it saves the time candidates would otherwise need to spend navigating inboxes or finding time to set up a call. I mean, think about your inbox right now. I thought about keeping my Gmail tab open here for you guys all to see how many I have in my inbox and my personal account. It's crazy. And that's how our candidates feel today as well. And I'm not even in the recruiting process. Um, but with text, the messages come right to the candidate and it's so easy for them to quickly apply. How many of your other apps in your personal day-to-day -day, are you enabling texting to get alerts on a package being delivered, to know if a Postmates is coming, to know, hey, I wanna know about a sale somewhere. Candidates that have that same level of speed and um, communication happening to them in the um, application process. In terms of quality, again, those top candidates are looking at a lot of employers. So you need to be the one to stand out and get them to the, get to them before others do. Um, to say this differently, we know that the average applicant of the, the 6,000 that we surveyed who were in the market for jobs this year they had applied to upwards of 16 jobs. So if you're competing against 15 other companies, do you think being the first to text them and the first to show up on their phone is gonna give you that competitive edge? It's a leading question it is. So while competitors you know, may offer to do interviews sitting in their inbox along with 200 emails, you can get right in front of them and get to their phone and jump the process. So really, really look at your texting practices. So here's a quick look at how something like this could work if you're not doing it today. Many of you may not have used texting in the recruiting process before, so it may be tough to visualize. Like, hey, how do I do this? Is it me having to pay for texting on my phone or for my recruiters to do that? With tools like a Hireology or other systems that are out there today, you can do this right from your desktop. You don't need to be texting from your own phone. You're not getting your inbox blown up. It's so simple and it is a really easy way to break through the clutter for those top candidates. Next, you need to take a look at the hiring process overall. So we've talked a little bit about how you can use referrals or a new kind of job source to move things faster. We've talked about how you communicate with them. If you're still winging it when applications come in or you have different teammates use different processes, you're likely moving slower than you could, and chances are you're not hiring the right people. Process existed or was founded in this country to help things move faster, and your hiring should be no different. A great process speeds up those efforts by making sure everyone on the team knows what to do and to do it when. And when you define the process, you can even build in mandated response times. For example, you might say all applications need to be reviewed within 24 hours or after any interview, you need to respond with a 24 hours with next steps. Clear and repeatable steps with timelines allows for your team to move faster and work more efficiently. Um, I'm not gonna say the customer name, but someone who works with Hireology has actually held to these kinds of standards of how quickly do they respond to an applicant? How quickly do they get an interview scheduled? Um, and all of those things happen within hours and days and weeks to ensure that they can add back to their bottom line. And when they did a calculation, they were adding millions, not thousands, millions back into their business because they were able to get high quality hires in the door, on the schedule, out in market as fast as possible. And that's just by making sure that they're holding everyone to the same process. So then in terms of quality, a well-defined process will ensure that no verification steps are missed. This is often the biggest contributing factor to bad hires. You have teams skipping interviews or conducting poor interviews, or maybe you choose not to call references or forget to order that drug scheme. You need to have standard steps in place to identify the best of the best. And as an added bonus, candidates can sense when you have a smooth process on your end, and it actually helps you sell yourself better. From the candidate's perspective, this tells them that you're, you value their time and their experience, which in their minds directly translate to how you play as an employer. It is a sales and marketing process through and through. And so everything we do today is to speed up that sales and marketing process, but also ensure that we're communicating a value proposition to those potential candidates that's really, really going to get them to buy into you. And so by doing these two things, defining it, following it, measuring it, you can ensure you're moving people through it quickly, but you're also doing so that you're ensuring quality, that you're um, qualifying people step by step by step in a consistent manner. Here's an example of what this could look like. Um, of course, this is super simplified. I'll tell you, Hireology, I haven't hired a marketer in a while, which is a good thing. Um, but 
uh, the last time we did it, it was not too far off this, you know, it was a couple weeks because of the va uh, vacation and some COVID cases here and here, but we got a high quality candidate and we followed a very similar process. You go one day for application review and application comes in, someone on your team reviews it. You get a phone screen done in two days. You get the hiring manager to interview them in two days. You have that final interview or what we call a core value interview at Hireology. You assess if they're a good fit for the company. Um, you put them through a drug screen. You make sure that you do some reference checks. I cannot stress enough how important this is. Then you offer, make an offer. This is a fast and expedited ones, but you should map out what are the things that are in our ideal process today? And do we have that set up in a system that we can measure and monitor as well? And finally, the tools that you use in the hiring process are really going to make a difference when it comes to both speed and quality. The key is looking for tools that are all in one that put the people at the center of this business. Um, they you know, help you post job, jobs across all job boards. I think too often we've gotten restricted into one versus the other. It is such a competitive market. You need to be where candidates are and you need to have an op, um, multiple options to do that. You need to run your referral program. Um, it is an important thing, regardless of how you do it, you need to put um, the tools of driving referrals into your employees' hands, turn them into your best recruiters. Keep track of candidates. How are you monitoring them through the process? How are you communicating with them? How are you um, engaging with them? You need to score interviews consistently. I can think of so many times where I'm like, we made a miss on that hire, or even in my previous um, prology days, um, it was largely due to we weren't asking the same questions. We weren't aligned on the scoring. And so, you know, we made some misses on who we put in seat. We were ordering drugs that they're compliant from that standpoint. Sending the offers in a timely and fast way. Don't let that part of the closing of the process or closing of the sale, as I like to call it in recruiting, um, prevent you from it and put it all in one place so it's easy to manage. You'll save significant time and resources by not having to jump from system to system to complete these steps and re-enter all the information. There's nothing worse than going from an Excel to your email to another Excel document um, to a different system, all to make all of these things happen, put it all together, um, and everything can do it from a central platform. And then in terms of quality, again, this is going to result in an all-around better experience for the candidate. Candidates can absolutely sense if you're relying on outdated tools and techniques when it comes to hiring, and it signals to them that you're behind the times as employer. If they feel like the experience is clunky, that is not an experience that they want to buy into, and the best way to deliver a better experience is to use the tools to help you manage it. Let me give you a visual of what this means. When you're operating with disparate systems, this is something that Hyrology has talked about for a while, but it continues to be um, an issue in HR tech. It's really, really tough to execute steps like candidate communication to scheduling interviews to onboarding well, if all of these things are disparate and kind of out in the ether. And in turn, you just can't connect with the modern job seeker, move them through the process and get them hired. You end up conducting the whole process in silos and manually re-enter data from system to system. It slows you down, makes everything feel clunky for candidates, creates errors, and overall just makes the process more about you and less about the candidate. In today's job market, with their two jobs to every one job seeker or in skilled labor making that even more, you cannot afford to make everything you do not be about today's job seeker. Everything you need to do needs to be about what do they look for? What do they want? How do they want to be communicated with? And do I have systems that put them at the center of that and surround them um, and surround the candidate? So with all of your tools that come together, you can enable this. You can put people back into people processes. You can move fast, save time, reduce errors, and truly, truly, truly put people first. Um, candidates who come in through job boards or referrals or even your career site are all funneled into one single system. You can communicate them, all of those candidates the same way and track if they're responding, um, regardless of where they came from. You can then order drug screens in a consistent way from a consistent partner. You can have reference checks from the same system. You can do skills testing to even further evaluate um, and save your time there. And it helps you move fast and ensures that not only are you moving forward with the very best in the bunch, but you're also keeping those top candidates engaged and not looking elsewhere. And if you have these systems built around the candidate, you can make sure that your hiring teams, your hiring managers, your recruiters, everyone that isn't gonna engage with this employee is aligned around this as well. And you really start to build a great team, put people at the center of all of it. 
So to summarize, you know, this is a quick hit and I did it pretty quickly. Recruiting and hiring is still a huge challenge. I'm not going to not um, downplay that. If you were feeling the pain of that, especially coming out of summer vacation months and back to school, um, it's been painful for sure. There are two job, job openings, as I mentioned, for every job seeker. And we're seeing the job market even add more as hospitality markets like that come back. There are plenty of options out there. And typically, um, they're going to choose the offer that comes first. Patience is no longer a virtue in this kind of generation in the way that we operate, the way that we live, et cetera. So they are looking for someone who wants to get back to them. It's a signal that you want them to work for you. So you need to set yourself up to move fast when a candidate does come around without sacrificing quality. If they have come through referral, job board, a career site, they've already raised their hand to say, hey, I'm interested. You need to show them that same level of interest. There is nothing worse than making a rash hiring decision and bringing someone on that isn't a good fit. We can all think of there's that one person or a couple of people in your career, if you've led people for a while that you're like, yep, that was a, that was a miss. It's all about finding the balance. I'm not saying move fast to sacrifice quality, but there's a way to do both, especially in this job market. And so if you focus on these four areas of really, really unlocking your referral program, aka turning your talent that you've already spent time and money to recruit, train, and ensure they're part of your culture, turn them into your recruiting team, that will unlock speed and unlock quality. Leveraging texting, we are all on our phones five times more than we've ever been before. Use with the device that's in their hands, meet them where they are, um, have that conversation. You can move fast and also not sacrifice quality. And then leverage a well-defined hiring process. Processes exist today to help us move things faster. It exists in every business, in every different of it's the birth of processes came from manufacturing. And the the way, the reason why that happened is to help us move fast and not sacrifice quality. And then finding the right tools that are centered around people first really, really you do this. If you put people at the center of everything that you do and you have tools that allow you to do that, you can move fast and not sacrifice quality. I know I sound like a record there, but that's the objective today is, hey, if you want to stay competitive and get your fair share of the job market, these are the four ways that you can do it. And with that, we have a few minutes for questions. So feel free to chat them in. Um, I'm happy to answer anything that people may have. Um, and we'll go from there. Any questions, everyone? Great. Well, we appreciate your time. I know it's lunchtime on the last day of the month. Um, so good luck closing out August and we look forward to bringing you another quick hit series here soon. Um, with that, thanks everyone. Have a great day.